All right, so we're going to be reacting to COD Next and what they're going to be showing for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. Uh, as you can see, I'm not watching it live. I'm very late to this. I'm, uh, I went very far back. Um, I've never done a reacting video, and uh, I also don't know where to put my webcam, so I'm kind of just floating in the middle. Let's just get right into it, see what they got for us. The world premiere of the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer trailer. Thanks again and enjoy the show. <laughs> Enemies above. Oh, Real charge. Uh, hold on. There's a battery life on the heartbeat sensor. It looks like we got actual like compass coordinates on it. The battery life on the heartbeat, I'm kind of liking that. God, that is so good to see. I don't know what that is. Drill charge. Oh, drill charge. Wait. That's crazy. Wait. That was sick. You're going to be okay. Hostage secure. They're showing us snipers. I swear to God, if, if snipers aren't a one-shot headshot kill, I'm going to be so upset. Got the cameras, yeah. Decoys, right? Whoa, what was that little move right there? So he's like literally hanging off of a ledge. And he can hold, I'm assuming, only pistols while you're on the ledge. But wow, and there's the first person shot. That could change a lot. That could be really cool to play with. Bouncing Bettys that stay on the water. Yeah, the gunsmith is crazy. Third person. I've been hearing about this. All new third person mode. Does that mean there's only one game mode where you can go into third person? Or mode as in just you can switch to third person? Because, I mean, this looks sick. Um, you saw the heartbeat sensor is back. It's got a new look. Uh, but it also has a battery as a balancing mechanic, so you can't use it indefinitely in Warzone. Um, and there's, I mean, there's so good. There's attack cam, too, which yeah. you guys yeah. just saw, which to me is um, my personal favorite. You can put out a lot of them, and yeah. even you can patch into your teammates. So you can oh. get, get some. Okay, so that's interesting, because at first I was going to say the camera is kind of useless. I mean, it was a cool mechanic in Black Ops 1, but the fact that you could put out multiple and it's wired through, like, a network through your whole team, that could actually be really interesting. I kind of want to see how that plays out. That's a that, that that's a big change. I like that. At first, I was, if it was just going to be, like, Black Ops 1, you put down the one camera and you can watch, like, I guess, a bomb site, uh, whatever. But that whole mechanic is super interesting. So I'm happy to say that Special Ops will return as our third mode and will be focused on two player missions. I don't care that much, but hey, that's cool. Design. So think one player on air support, one player on the ground. And um, I think the OG fans will be really excited because we've looked at, you know, some of the iconic. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, like I'm sure there were people who played Spec Ops. I was not one of them. I mean, I, I did. If I was really, if none of my friends were online, um, but hey, maybe maybe it'll be big this year, right? PlayStation exclusive operator. Okay. Take Miles ISO. Interesting. You, Mike. Welcome to Almazra. This is Almazra. Okay. Here's the new Warzone map. So I could see how they're really trying to lean into the swimming mechanic. I mean, there's water everywhere. Um, and that's cool. That's fine by me. Quarry port, airport. Those all sound like things we've we've seen and had before. So this is our new map for Warzone 2.0. It is a a really interesting mix of geography. It is expansive desert settings with a mix of industrial areas, towns, a city, and of course, water. It looks way better on this screen than it did on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you're gonna find a lot of really cool elevation, rocky peaks, caves, subterranean uh, spaces. Uh, this map is beautiful, and it's actually the biggest BR map that we've ever made. Uh, and um, I am so excited for all of our streamers. 
Just everything they said there was just fucking awful. Elevation, rocks, peaks, subterrane, caves, biggest map we've ever made. Like, all the things I don't want to hear. We call points of interest along the map. And if you're paying attention, you might even see Boring. a few that seem pretty familiar out there as well. Um, and so, as the team works through these, they're trying Quarry to... was, um... Wow. Quarry. That looks... Few that seem pretty... That looks crazy seeing this... The, these kind of graphics. This is, if, if you don't know, this is like a classic Modern Warfare 2 map. And it's in the Warzone map. I mean, it's so crazy to see it in 2022. Like, designed for 2022. Okay, that's cool. I'm down with that. Well, that's awesome. Points of interest along the map. And if you're paying attention, you might even see a few that seem pretty familiar out there as well. Um, and so as the team works through these, they're trying to find some variety on each uh, uh, point of interest to make them, them something. Oh. Oh, my God. Anyone remember this map? The players will want to drop in and get the particularity of that single point of interest and find the place that they want to drop and where Oh, shit. Is it? Particularity of that single. This is the, um, the COD 4 map. Isn't it? Point of interest and fun. This was the COD. This map was in COD 4. I'm I'm 99% sure. Find the place that they want to drop and where they want to play. Oh my god. A high level. Yeah, this is it. Oh my god. I didn't know they were adding this. That's awesome. Elevation wow. observatory at the center of the map, whether it be the big city that's up the top right, and whether they want to explore that, or whether they want to work in some of our POIs where we have water intersecting with, ge with geometry here. So we have in this one. I mean, come on, terminal. Oh, it's so crazy. Uh, Ooh, well, that looks oh, familiar. That seem familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and there's a river system that goes through all of this, so you'll be able to catch in a boat and drive between the different POIs. <laughs> Here's one of our favorite, Sawa Village, which is... That's my favorite. ...colloquially yeah. called Sunken Town. I mean, I love to swim, so... You hear everyone's reaction as soon as Terminal popped up on the screen. Oh, you find me there? Absolutely. Um, I'm curious what you guys think, Jack and Joe, on what the hot drop will be today, right? We I mean, if I had to guess, it would be Terminal. It would be Airport. I feel like everyone would want to go and see Terminal. Right. And as fixed. you're driving them around and you're encountering them and other squads are playing with them, you can choose to shoot off the tires to kind of impact their handling. You oh. can have them, re they react to explosives differently based on their weight. So if you're oh. in a heavy armored 4x4 and get hit by an RPG, it's going to kind of bounce a little bit, but not quite take the hit as a small sedan. Um, you can also choose with your squad to be rolling into a POI. That's interesting. You can actually like shoot out people's tires. That, okay. And somebody jumps out on the roof. I'm on board. Somebody leaves I like out the it. window. But Warzone 2.0, you're going to hear it over and over again today. It's about fun. This is about playing with your friends, having fun, you know, friends new and old. Maybe you're making them a game. And I think one particular feature that I cannot wait to see the streamers <laughs> engage with will be our prox chat. Yes! Uh, so it's coming. It will be in Warzone. And I, 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 there is going to be some wait. amazing clips. <laughs> We're actually going through a proximity chat. Oh my god, the griefing is gonna get so unreal. Oh my god, really? We went with. But um. Yikes. So what about circle mechanics? I mean, this is obviously uh, a huge component of BR's joke. Yeah, I mean, the circle's been a staple of BRs. It's been really hard to move away from it. So we kind of talked about what could we do to mix things up with the circle. So we've got this new mechanic where the circle can actually split, almost like a cell splits, into two, three, or even four circles. Whoa. And then those circles kind of close down. And what it does is it segregates teams, and you have these micro battles in those circles. And at a certain point, you're like, OK, we've cleared out our circle. We think we're good. Whoa. And then those circles merge. They come back together. And you know, you have this very directed fight of, like, as the circles moving you're like gearing up in buildings you're like here we go it's about to kick off and as soon as those circles hit you have that final fight so it's another Holy kind of like shit. twist in the gameplay that we feel like is a crazy cool world event that would happen like all oh, the circles that's i absolutely love that change that's beautiful i can't wait to see how that plays out that is amazing 
Wow, that's awesome. We need to, the Gulag, you know, we've been experimenting with... We've tried some crazy things. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you know, we've been experimenting. <laughs> it's always... It's going to be rough when you hear that. <laughs> but the, the, the current version of the Gulag that we, we have running right now, where we're excited for people to play, is you're not in there alone. You actually have this temporary alliance with another opponent in the map, and you guys, you have to work together, and if you can defeat the other team... You this makes so much sense with the prox chat because this proximity chat if i mean if you don't know what proximity chat is it's when you're nearby players the you can hear them you can hear their mics if you're close to them and that yeah that's it the closer you are the more clearly you can hear them um but that makes sense how these 2v2 gulags are going to work i saw that there were 2v2 gulags i knew this was coming but i didn't know that there was prox chat that adds up very well. You can okay. get out, and after that, you guys are enemies again. But for that moment, it's like, all right, we need each other. Let's do this. You use the proximity chat to talk to each other. <laughs> and the other thing we've been playing around, I could have waited two seconds. A little bit of an AI presence in the gulag. So you kind of you got to be on your toes. Like you're working with an enemy. There might be an AI here. You're picking up weapons. Um, we're excited might for people be. to try it. And, and yeah, we're gonna get feedback today too. Picking and, up weapons. And like Hold Joe on. said, we've we've been through some pretty wild. So it's like a it's like a mini BR as your gulag. That's interesting. And he said it's an opponent. He said, so I'm assuming even if you and your teammate die, you're not going to be on the same team. You have to work with an enemy, which I, I like. I like that. I like that a lot. And you have to rely on the game proximity chat feature. I think that could actually be a good. When I first heard 2v2 gulags, I was skeptical. But after listening to this, I, I think it could actually be really great. But we'll see how that goes. Warzone 2.0 will be free to play for everyone on November 16th. That is not a lot of time to grind out some mastery camos, but <laughs> we will get it done. A lot of, lot of stuff dropped, a lot of information going on, um, crazy changes, everything's insane, a lot of information to take in all at once, um, and I'm just, I'm super excited. Um, I know we all go through the same thing every year where... We get our fucking hopes up, and then it just turns out to be dog shit. But they really are completely changing Call of Duty as we know it. Like, it, it, everything seems so much different. All right, sorry for the uh, the sudden cut in the video. Uh, I was going to upload three separate video reactions to COD Next. Uh, I was going to do one for the main info drop reveals. Then I was going to do one for the multiplayer segment. And then I was going to do an another one for the Warzone 2 segment. And then I sat here and I thought about it. And I was like, I'm definitely going to get fucking sh a strike on my channel for just straight uploading footage of COD Next gameplay. Uh, so I'm just going to share my thoughts here at the end of this video. And it'll, I'll stick to the one reaction video. And hopefully it'll protect my channel. Um, a lot was shown in the rest of COD Next when it comes to Modern Warfare, the whole movement system is completely changed. Number one, there's dolphin diving back, which we haven't seen in a very long time. Uh, but on top of the dolphin diving, there's also slides. So I don't even know how you differentiate like button presses to do a dive or a slide. I don't know if you have to jump and if you have to jump and then hold the crouch button to initiate the dive i would assume that's how you differentiate uh, slide canceling is gone there is no more slide canceling once you initiate a slide your character has to fully complete the slide before you can start moving again the mantling system is different now you auto hang from a ledge when you go to grab it which i can see presenting so many issues where i'm just trying to hop over something and my character is just gonna grab the edge of a ledge and hang off of it while some guy's shooting me in the back. I can see that presenting so many issues in both multiplayer and uh, Warzone, especially Warzone. It all looks incredibly smooth. It all looks really, really crisp, really, really good. It looks like a polished version of Modern Warfare 3. I don't know how to explain that. It looks like a modernized, polished version of Modern Warfare 3, which is not a bad thing. Really crisp, really good. All the menus and navigations are really streamlined and kind of not in your face as much and it all looks really really great 
and it looks like it plays really great, and it looks like it's a lot of fun. Guns, we saw kill streaks. The the gunsmith is insane. It, 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 endless possibilities to what you can put together in the gunsmith. It looks amazing, and I really, from what I've seen, have no complaints with multiplayer other than the TTK looks pretty fucking fast. I mean, there, there were people dying in, like, two bullets. Like, some of these submachine guns, like, I think it was the Vector specifically, was j just frying people. But the commentators brought, brought up a good point. The SMGs, when you're real up close, will fry someone, but they don't seem to do anything at range. And the same thing with the ARs. The ARs just seem to never win close, close up, but excel at range. So they're actually, like, really... As of right now, they're really balanced in their classes, and they're acting the way these guns should work. But that also presents the weird platform switching in the gunsmith, where you can turn an AR into an SMG, and an SMG into an AR. You can build all these different guns completely differently for how you want to play them. So I don't really know how... I don't know how balancing is going to work in this game. I don't Because there are shared attachments to weapons and classes and some attachments that work for every gun and some attachments that work for this one gun that has five different platforms that can convert it into different types of weapon it, it, the whole gunsmith seems super super confusing and i'm sure once i get in and i start using it, it it'll make a lot more sense but i don't know how they're gonna balance this game at all i, I feel like it's just gonna be all over the place all the time but that's fine because everyone has access to just making whatever gun they they want and they really seem like they're trying to just make it so that everyone can do whatever they're making challenges easier they're making attachments easier it's just they want you just to get in and play now when it comes to warzone um yikes um from what i've seen of the warzone gameplay i it looks like it, it, it looks like like if Fortnite Escape from Tarkov and PUBG had like a fucking weird Frankenstein baby child, and it's kind of like all over the place. First off, there's like a backpack looting system now, where you actually have like an inventory to carry and you have to manage your inventory. Um, when you open chests, it doesn't just to spit out a bunch of loot at you you actually have to open the chest and then pick which items you want from the chest um the buy stations are all completely different with completely different uis is it's not just one screen where you can buy everything it's a screen that you have to click into and then you have to choose what category you want do you want items do you want weapons do you want weapon upgrades or do you want to buy back your team um and it's interesting that you can buy weapons and upgrade your weapons at the buy station and there's also like way more in the buy you could buy like grenades and smoke grenades and there's a lot going on when you kill players the inventory is interesting you kill them and it kind of like spreads out almost like it's kind of like tarkov where you can like loot their body and you see their inventory and you choose what you want to take from them but it's spread out evenly where it's like okay guns are here their backpacks here their armor's here it kind of spreads out nicely the looting system is pretty interesting and they made it make sense where it's like you can go into a store and you can actually go up to the cash register and there will be money in the cash register or you can go to a bathroom in a house and there will be a first aid kit in like the medicine cabinet and i even saw at some point someone opened like a medicine cabinet and there was a self-revive kit in there and it just seems everything seems a lot more accessible and they even they they really put emphasis on how much they tried to make looting makes sense there's just something about the inventory management system and the looting system that is so much slower than in warzone and everything that they're doing with warzone makes it so much slower right it seems like they're trying to slow down players at every point on top of that there is ai fucking everywhere like, it, we, we already had, we were already like, why are there bots in, like, Factory back when Caldera first came out? Or, I guess Factory was added to Caldera. And we were like, why are there bots in Factory? There are bots in, like, every fucking house now. You go into a house and there's a bot guarding a chest. And they put a lot of emphasis on AI. I mean, there's the, you, you can fight strongholds, as they call it, where, you know, you fight, like, waves of AI. And 
with that you can get like loadout guns or something the map is cool i mean uh, there's modern warfare 2 and call of duty maps like or not call it cod 4 maps mixed in to one big giant map uh i'm not a fan of how big it is but we'll see how that plays out i don't know if they confirmed a number like how many players are going to be on a warzone map is it is it 120 like it is now or are they going to go back up to 150 i don't know but the map is definitely a lot bigger. Like, I saw people dropping in, and it was massive. But they also have a lot more emphasis on vehicles and, and movement systems where you can swim. There's a canal that kind of goes through the whole middle of the map. You can swim. There's boats that you can use now. At first, when I was watching this video, I was I reacted to the circle split as, like, a crazy awesome change. And it is. It's, super, it's a super cool change. And it's super interesting, but also it, you you think about it, and it's like that might slow down a lot of games, right? Because like, what if you know the game's going fast and the circle splits, and you know there's like ten people in one circle and twenty people in another, and like ten people in the last one. It, it, I feel like it just kind of slows everything down. It's either going to slow everything down where the games won't end as fast because people can't get to each other, or it'll speed them up because teams that normally wouldn't come near each other now have to separate into smaller groups and they're more likely to run into each other because of the split circles. It could go either way. We'll see how that plays out. But he, when he was describing it, he literally said it could be three, it could be four, it could be two. We don't know. It, it just splits randomly. And that's cool, um, but I definitely want to see how that plays out. The gulag is strange. I mean, I saw it being played out, and yeah, it's 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 literally like a little tiny, tiny, tiny BR game. Like you spawn into the gulag, and you can find and pick up guns, and then you have to eliminate the other two players. It's you and a teammate, and uh, as long as one person wins, you guys win. So if you die, but your teammate clutches up and kills the other two, you both get released from the gulag, which is cool. It, it's great. It, it, it gives you a, a decent chance to come back from the gulag. But it's also weird that there's AI in the gulag because you can like sh you can kill one dude and then kill an AI and think, oh, I got both. I got two guys. That's it. So you can like s let down your guard after killing an AI because you think that's the second player. You don't realize it's not a, a player. And then you can get killed for that. It's 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 a little weird throwing AI into the gulag. I like the whole two-player. I like the whole, like, I'll just pick up a gun and fight you, whatever you get. That's cool. The AI, I think, is a little bit much in the gulag. I, I, they're really putting emphasis on AI. In terms of the map, I don't see any issues. There were a couple of weird points during the during the events where like players just couldn't mantle over things or hop over things, i was like oh geez it's already starting there are points where they were crawling in bushes they were like it's just just large area of like bushes and they crawled underneath them and the bushes were way above them like they were totally hidden under those bushes and that's gonna be such a fucking huge issue i can already tell um and especially with a map that's number one this big and number two this like dull color like it's all like just like deserty kind of rocky sandy brown color um it's interesting to see how it's going to play out but mo as far as multiplayer it looked great it, i i'm so excited for it i think it's going to be a lot of fun i don't know how the camo challenges are going to work especially with all these weapon platforms and stuff we still have absolutely no idea how that's going to play out but hey i mean Tomorrow, the beta starts for PlayStation. By the time you guys see this, it'll be out. I'm keeping my hopes up. Warzone 2, I have way less hopes for. Modern Warfare 2 looks like it's going to be a really solid game, and I'm super excited for it. And uh, let me know what you guys think. This is going on way too long for a little extra bit at the end here. This is going to be an insanely long video. I'm sorry. Uh, I've been rambling for so long. I just want to get all my thoughts out there, but... I'm excited. I think it's going to be really good. Warzone 2, I don't know. I still don't have a clear opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let's have some, let's have some discussions. Yeah, I'm going to be back to daily uploads on the channel, so be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. You're not going to want to miss any of the videos coming out soon. We're going to be putting out so much in the coming weeks. I mean, 
with the beta coming out, I'm going to be dishing out videos. Fall Guys Season 2 is here. I already am about to edit some videos for that. Multiverses Season 2 is here. I've been grinding. I'm level 500 Morty, or rank 500 Morty. It's been hard. Sweatiest lobbies of my life. We got the beta coming out. I'm going to just shit out videos on that. And then not long after that, multiplayer is out. Not long after that, Warzone 2 is out. And on top of that, October is spooky season. I got a little extra treat for you guys. I think I'm going to be uploading one horror game per day on top of my normal uploads. So we're looking at a potential of at least 60 videos in October here. It's going to be crazy. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of them. I appreciate y'all. Thank you all for watching. Way too long a video. I apologize. <laughs>